In the yesteryears, most of the bars and clubs in Nairobi were located in shopping centers and towns. However, there has been an influx of tiny liquor stores dubbed wines and spirits in places of residence. Their alcoholic drinks prices are cheaper than bars, no entry fees, and unlike bars, their opening hours are from as early as 9 a.m. Add a college student's population and the breeding grounds for immorality, alcohol addiction, crime, among other profanities, flourishes. According to statistics, last year alone in Nairobi, more than 60% of alcohol-related deaths were youths aged between 18 to 25 years. At this age, majority of them are either in college or have just completed their college education. Is it out of the freedom that comes with independence from high school monitored life? Is it peer pressure? Is it because we no longer have communal parenting? Is it due to lack of mentors and mentorship programs? Or are we just a society that has embraced ungodly ways? We meet a 19-year-old college-going student who agrees to share his story on anonymity for private reasons. We oblige. In this story, we'll call him Thomas. Unlike all his friends, Thomas does not consume alcohol. His drug of choice, as he puts it, is the PlayStation. He vividly gives us a recall of the last moments with his best friends, a barely 19-year-old college-going student and greatest PlayStation opponent, and the intrigues that followed. Kwa 
tangu jana alali hivyo ataje change position amelala sio hadi saa 4 nikaa mkina mwili wake ni baridi asongi eh kashtuka afsa tukasema acha twende tumuone tukatoka tu hapo haraka nikaenda tukamcheki cheki nyeo kwenda ameenda kabili tume tume tupigiana simu kule ku bestie tu moja akapigiana simu kwa babao akaambiana venye kumeenda akatwambia tutaenda kwa police station na ndo tukaenda tukareport yenye ilifanyika walikuja tu afu kaita msemu mwingine wa crime scene wakampiga waka, picha mm alafu toka waka, waka, waka kasema waka 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 chukua wale wale kuja na magloves kutoka mrap na kasema ati tutambeba tumeleke tumpeleke huko chini kwa gari walikuwa wamekuja na gari yao so after msi ali alikuja ali nini mwenye alikuwa ashapiga picha kaishia si wengine tukambiwa ati tusaidie karo moja ndo alikuwa na sisi kwa maana mtu msaidie kumbeba alikuwa chini wa gari sasa tukafanya hivyo tukam kutoka mbeba kutoka kwa na ilikuwa na 6th floor kutoka 6th floor hadi kwa chini wa ground hadi kwa hadi kwa gari bado tuko kwa police station tukambiwa kuna mse fulani ame 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 pass base fulani sasa tukambiwa tu itabidi tena tumemwendea alafu tum, tumchukue alafu twende na wote kwa moja sasa tukienda ndio place wakachukua wakamweka hapo ndani wakamweka wakamweka nje umse eh afsa tutukatoka hapo gari gari ilisimama hapo hiyo base sana ndio wasio walikuwa wamesurround mtu kwa hiyo gari alafu sando alafu ikatoka baada ya kitu ka 5:06 ikazunguka kazunguka ikapita tu vichorochoro hadi kafika tao alafu ndo tukaenda duko kwa kwa katolea kwa katolea wote alafu tutakatoka tukarudishwa hadi mtana wa gari the alcoholism sensitization crusade is so dear to me i've lost very close friends and family in their prime to this monster i was once an alcoholic too it is by god's grace and sheer will that i overcame the monster not everyone is lucky to wake up from this deep slumber but it is possible to seek help and stay woke ku nazoambia at least hata ukienda mahali usifanye kitu juu juu ya pressure weka unataka kufanya kitu fanya kitu yenyewe mwenyewe unaona iko sawa kwako mm kaka ka uko msa kunywa kuna joji force kwa kitu au kwa lakini atakao unakunywanga at least hata upunguze juu je kitu sipo unaweza hata kunywa tu siku ya kwanza ni kuharibu ama tu eh, ama hata kunywa kidogo tu na itakuwa fake sana hmm. our sensitization crusade takes us to ruaraka here the ever so busy railo dinga road greets us with somberness as if it had been listening in to thomas story we sought to be the audience of their area chief for her endless crusade in the fight on the alcoholism menace mimi ni chief wakati huu niko chief hapa alwalaka na mimi ni mama wa watoto wawili vijana that is 6 years na that one years kwa hivyo wakati naongea mambo ya drugs na pobe kwa vijana inaniguza sana nimekuwa nikipigana naye kufa kupona kumwaga kuharibu kwa sababu kama mama mtoto akishaharibika mama sana dio huguzwa na akishaguzwa ulimwengu mzima inaguzwa na mimi kama mama na kama shifu ningeulisa wasasi haswa kila msasi awe anaangalia mtoto wake hapo zamani mtoto alikuanga wa jamii kwa hivyo akiharibika jamii yote ilikuwa inaona na inarekebisha wakati huu mtoto ni wa mama peke yake msasi kwa hivyo tuangalie hawa watoto wazazi wengine wa kwangi 
na kwa angi that paranoid lakini wengine waezi kubali msi wende basi sasa kuna wengine waezi sema pombe haisaidi pombe haijengi pombe ni kuharibu inaharibu inakuharibu vile ukikunywa hivi inaendanga ikidhuru mwili yako alafu unaitoa inaendanga hivi ikidhuru mwili yako unaitoa wahenga walisema show me your friends i tell you what a person you are ukijiigiza kwa group baya hata wewe utapotea kwa pombe mostly kuna kuanga na groups uwezi kukunywa pombe ikiwa peke yako hata other drugs uwezi kufanya ukiwa peke yako if you smoke una smoke bangi unajidunga uwezi kufanya peke yako lazima muwe ina group na hao hiyo group ndio inapotesanga mtu kwa hivyo ni mzuri kuchagua group mzuri na watu waingie kwa kanisa proverbs 22 inasema kudisha mtoto yaliyo mazuri hata akiwa mse hata sahau the parents how do you wanna be wa kufundisha watoto wao tabia nzuri mambo mzuri hata wakiwa wazee hawata sahau kwa hivyo mimi ningeuliza vijana tafadhali tuashane na pombe na niseme tabia yote hukusaliwa naye ni wewe umejiingiza ndani ni wewe umejifunza unaweza acha ili time decision ni wewe mwenyewe uangalie wale wengine uone haijawasaidia kwa hivyo hata wewe mwenyewe haiwezi kukusaidia na wale wanaruhusia hawa vijana pombe au wale wenyewe wanapika wajue wako na kiboko ya Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu uwezi kuharibu mtoto wa mtu mwingine anakupatia pesa unamuhusia hiyo pombe anakunywa na ufikirie wako wataenda mzuri kwa hivyo mimi ningeuliza vijana tuashane na pombe kwa sababu hiyo ni kitu itadhuru maisha yako milele na milele na wale wameshaasha wanakuaga na testimony kwa sababu wanajua pahali wametoka na pahali wameenda na vile wako na ndio unaona wengi wakishaasha wanakuanga role model kwa wale wengine wanatagasa kabisa hadharani pobe haina maana ile ingine ningesema ni vijana tuingie kwa kanisa ukiingia kwa kanisa tafundishwa kanisa wakati huu wako na groups wanaenda retreat wanafanya nini ukiingia huko utashare life yako utafuata utafuata kanisa ufuate e, nini maadili ya kanisa mpaka utakuwa if you are out there and are willing to give soberness a chance you can reach out to nakada through their website above all feed your faith and for sure your fears will starve to death my name is nikomondi and this is the cause